Hello everybody, this is Smasher225 and this is episode 25 and today we're heading to the Safari Zone so we can find out what the heck's going on with the warden and try to get a special prize if we reach the end. Now in the Safari Zone you only have 500 steps to do this, but you shouldn't take that long. Now you can find a bunch of Pokemon in here and there is a little glitch type thing. In order to find a bunch of Pokemon, all you do is you stand on a piece of grass and you hit the four directional buttons. And that will make sure that you will encounter Pokemon, but you actually have 600 steps, pardon me. That will make sure you encounter Pokemon, however you don't, uh, you'll see Pokemon, you just won't, uh, take any steps. Now there are a lot of items in here. So it might take you a couple treks to get the uh, exact Pokemon you want. Just because there's so many in this area. There's just way too many to count and I forget how to get through the Safari Zone. Quick Claw. Now I didn't know about this, uh, like, I didn't know it was there, but it's an amazing item. What it does is it makes it so your Pokemon sometimes goes first. If you have a slower Pokemon, Give it to it right away. Now, here's one thing. When you're doing this, you don't actually battle. You can't actually battle. So you can either use a rock, which makes it angry and easier to catch, but more likely to run away. Bait, harder to catch, but less likely to run away. So I'm just going to toss Safari Ball out here just to see if I can catch this right on. Or right horn, I should say. And I don't. And he's watching carefully. Nice little animation there. Tossing the safari ball. Aw, oh, shoot, it was too close. Watching carefully. I'm you know, I'm gonna try to allow you flies or I just waste too much time. And he fled. I thought I was gonna give up after that one anyway. So you come over here. Oh. Another one. This is a Venomoth. Okay, Pokemon. I'm just gonna try and catch it. I kind of have a thing about bug Pokemon. I really like them, so. Ah, watch it carefully. Yeah, screw it. I'm going. Screw catch Pokemon here. But there are some extremely rare Pokemon that you can catch here. So if you do want to catch some hardcore Pokemon, please, by all means. And that's stealing a steel type uh, move, mostly known by flying type Pokemon. Kind of weird. Ah, I want to run. Whatever. I got lots of time. But it appeared to be caught, and I'm just gonna run after that one. So in the Safari Zone, this is basically all you can do, other than uh, this quest that I'm going quest that I'm going on. So all you need to do is kind of follow this route. You kind of have to go to the far back corner of the Safari Zone. I know it sounds pretty far and you will waste a bunch of your steps getting here. So if you're going to do it, do it good. And found one gold teeth. That's the, that's one of the items you need to get. Please find his gold teeth. Yeah. So the person who put that sign couldn't walk that far and pick it up. Honestly. Now here's TM32 Double Team, which does raise your evasiveness. Now in here, I'm pretty sure I've got 179 steps, so I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, so you can run out before here. But talk to this guy. First person to reach the secret house. And we have won, what, HM3? Yes, we now have Surf. Now you teach us to a water Pokemon, and you will, uh be able to surf on his back. Now, knowing that, you can go to all these other areas that were previously unaccessible, and there's also one area in the very big, um, the very center of this, which connects all four areas, that you can actually get uh, a Dratini. This is the only place in the game where you can get a Dratini, except they're very rare and you have to surf to get them. Now here's an execute. I'm not trying to catch it, like purposely cast it, catch this for my team, but you know it could be a good addition. Actually, yeah, I think I might use it because they they're psychic, you know. 
Grass Psychic. I don't have a Grass type Pokemon. I don't have a Psychic type Pokemon. And they kind of give it uh, a good thing. So I am going to name him. Hmm. Oh, let's see. I am going to name him. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to go with. Bulba. I don't know why, I just felt like it. So, now, here was the kind of glitch I was talking about. See, I'm in this one area, and I'll keep catching Pokemon. However, nothing will happen. Now, this is a Nidorino. I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to guys show you guys that. Just so you knew that, like... And then, like, your things will de de nah, diminish. So, if you are looking for a certain Pokemon, that is a great way to do it. There are certain Pokemons that Pokemon that can only be found in certain areas. So, uh, if you do see like a Kangaskhan or whatever, which is a really rare Pokemon, or a Chansey, just use this glitch kind of, and this is present in all Pokemon games, so up until, actually even including Diamond and Pearl, they haven't taken it out of the mechanics. So, uh, yeah, this applies for all Pokemon games if you wanted to do that. Now I'm just wasting out my steps. Ding dong. Time's up. Safari game is over. Now that's basically all you can do in the Safari Zone. But since we do have HM3 and we got the Warden's Gold Teeth, what we can do is we can come down here, go find the Warden who is in his house, go, and hit, go talk to him, give the Gold Teeth to him, why someone would have gold teeth, I do I don't know. And now he gives you H HM4, which actually is a very good thing. Now if you teach it to a Pokemon, I I don't think any of my Pokemon can, or if they do, I just don't want to teach it to him right now. I might off screen. But if you move that boulder, I forget what uh, move that is. So when I do teach a Pokemon that, actually let's just see which of my Pokemon can learn it. It's an okay move, but like, certain Pokemon you only really use two or three moves anyway, so I can teach, uh, I'm going to teach to Liz. And actually, War Turtle doesn't evolve at level 32, it was 36, I completely forgot. And I'm actually going to get rid of Scratch for Strength, just because, you know, I Scratch isn't that great of a move, and Strength I think is overall and will help me in the long run better than uh, Scratch would. So I'm also going to take this time and I'm going to teach Surf to Abrams. Notice that Kronk can learn that move as well. So uh, if you are going to do that, and I'm going to get rid of Withdraw for that. Because War Turtle and uh, Blastoise and Squirtle, in fact this whole evolution line, they are really good at defense. So special defense and defense they're really good at. So it just is a good plus. Now... Let's find out what's behind this magical mystery boulder. With the help of Liz, we can move it and get one rare candy. Yeah, that was a pointless waste of time. Rare candies, in my opinion, like they're good, but they're only really good for if you're like doing a run-through type thing. Not really good overall in the uh, training type aspect if you're EVing. So that's going to be it for episode 25. Uh, yeah, sorry, the last couple episodes, I haven't, can't really do that much, and i kind of been blowing through them, but, you know, I've been uh, trying to get through them, you know, just going my own way, showing what I need to show. But, no, that's going to be it for me. I'm Smash225 saying see y'all on episode 26, where we take on the Fuchsia City Gym Leader and Koga.